What's up guys? Welcome to this week's DevKit Weekly where we'll be showing you how to extend the performance of a Raspberry Pi 4 to a Raspberry Pi camera module a long way away, courtesy of the Thine Cable Extension Kit. So here we have a Raspberry Pi 4 Model B. And here we have version 2 of the Raspberry Pi camera module. They interface via a MIPI CSI2 connector and this ribbon cable which is, let's say, plus or minus 6 inches. But what if you need to position the camera a significant distance above your Pi? Let's say, for example, if you want to have a webcam shot that's not of your chest. Or across the room over here, or maybe way over there. or what about way over here? In situations like that, this little ribbon cable gets really short, really, really fast. But don't worry, Thine has an alternative in the form of this cable extension kit, the THS ER101, which is designed around this plug and play adapter cards that feature VB1HS signaling technology. If you're not familiar with VB1HS? To be honest, neither was I. So let's start there. VB1HS is an open digital signaling standard that runs over twisted pairs, but much faster than LVDS. A version of the technology was introduced by Thine back in 2007 as a means of resolving timing skew, EMI, and other challenges that HDTV manufacturers were experiencing with LVDS. But since then, its high speed and integrated clock data recovery and equalizer capabilities have helped it gain success in other applications that need digital pixel transmission, like machine vision cameras, in-vehicle infotainment systems, and a whole bunch of other use cases that benefit from the reduction in connectors and cabling in their designs, thanks to VB1HS's higher capacity throughput, so you don't need as many of either connectors or cables. But one thing I just mentioned is really important. The ability to equalize VB1HS signals also has the benefit of being able to extend the range of data transmissions, and by a lot. That's why the kit includes this 2 meter LAN cable, but it can be used with LAN cables as long as 20 meters. The kit's boards are designed around Thine's THC241A and THC242 series chipsets, which accept MIPI CSI2 inputs up to 1080p60 resolution and converts them to VB1HS over one, two, or four lanes at speeds as high as four gigabits per second. The Suri's chips also include bi-directional control capabilities via I2C and GPIO communication support. These devices have been tested with the Raspberry Pi 4 and Raspberry Pi camera module version 2.1 but they should work with any Raspberry Pi computer with a 40 pin connector and with the Raspberry Pi high quality camera and select modes within the Raspberry Pi camera module version 1.3. And when Thine says the THS ER101 is plug and play, they mean it. If you have any of the aforementioned hardware and a LAN cable, all you have to do is plug the transmit board with the THC241A serializer chip into the Raspberry Pi camera module with the stock ribbon cable we showed before, and then use the provided screw spacers and ribbon connector to interface the THC B242 based deserializer board with the Raspberry Pi computer, then plug the LAN cable into both here and here, and that's it. There's no software required, and the system operates as if the camera module is plugged directly into the Raspberry Pi computer without any performance loss. If you want proof that this setup works, check out findsolutions.com forward slash cable hyphen extension hyphen kit. There, there's a link to a project that leveraged this very kit to pull images off a telescope that was sitting outside in Chicago in the winter. Of course, the Raspberry Pi and the operators were able to stay warm and dry inside. If you've seen enough and you're ready to extend your reach with the Thine THS ER101 cable extension kit for the Raspberry Pi camera, you can purchase one of your own from DigiKey for $58. But as always on DevKit Weekly, you can try to win this one for free by filling out the form that's linked to on the screen and entering this week's raffle. But 
not, as always on DevKit Weekly, we're including a bonus this week. We're including, of course, the Thion Cable Extension Kit, this Raspberry Pi 4 Model B, this Raspberry Pi Camera Module Version 2, and even this official Raspberry Pi USB-C power supply all together. That's a complete vision system that could be yours, and we'll ship it to you anywhere in the world if you win. Anyway, that's all for this week's DevKit Weekly. I wanted to say a quick goodbye to Perry Cohen, who's moved on to bigger and better things. He'll certainly be missed, and we wish him luck in his future endeavors. As for me, well, you'll see me next week on DevKit Weekly. Thanks for watching.